Right, so as you can probably tell from the title of this video, 2024, I just got here six watts per kilo. I've been close, I've been far, I've been very close, but I've never actually done it. So my best ever, technically, it was 2019, pre where I went to intensive care, broke loads of bones, did 350 for 20, 61 kilos, 5.7. Uh, last year was the best form I've ever been in, just in terms of everything. Um, set some really good power numbers, but 20 minute, I just never really got a good one. My best of the year was 335, which I did um, pretty tired. I did two 20 minute efforts beforehand, so very fatigued, and I did 335 watts. So that was about, I was 60 kilos then, a little bit lighter, so 5.6 watts per kilo if we round up. So again, not mega close, but I do know that like at that period fresh, you know, it was probably about 345-ish, so not too far away. So the goal this year is just to hit six watts per kilo for 20. Obviously racing is racing, like I'd wanna do well for sure, but that's kind of one of my goals that I really just need to tick off because I know it's possible. I've been close and you're just like, it's only a little bit here, a little bit there. Um, so yeah, anyway, what are we gonna do for 2024? Now that is kind of the key thing. So I'd say, first of all, I'm gonna go through how I think I'm gonna achieve six watts per kilo, literally just the maths, and then I'm gonna go through my training. So first of all, six watts per kilo, 60 kilos is 360. I don't think I've got minerals to push 360, to be honest. Uh, like. I think it's just too many watts. So I think I am gonna have to be lighter than 60. The lightest I've ever been is, three, is 58. The That was a little bit unsustainable, I reckon. 59, a bit more sustainable. So that's kind of my goal is get 59 kilos, which I reckon isn't too bananas. Um, if I just concentrate on my weight from earlier out than like a month or two before a good race. Um, and then multiply that by six, you get 354. And that I think is the only way I could do it. I think otherwise, Mm, it's, it's just too much. I think 58, you know, I just don't know if I can push the power, maybe for a one-off effort, but I think for racing, it's not great. So I think that ultimately is kind of the goal, get 59 kilos and push 354 for 20 minutes. Now, it's a lot and I'm not, I kind of don't know if I ever will be able to do it, but I think of all years, this is probably the best one. I've come in winter with good numbers. I've got more generous power meter than previously, I reckon. So it's all kind of pointing upwards. Caveat on the Palmier, like Palmiers are just kind of carnage. I was an, on an info crank. I reckon that was a little bit harsh. Not like mega harsh, but just a little bit, maybe like five watts at like 350 or something like that. Like just enough that you're kind of like, mm, maybe it's a little bit harsh. Um, and then on my Quark, I reckon it's a little bit nicer. And again, it's not much, uh, but it's enough that you kind of think, oh, this this could tip it a little bit. Uh, and obviously six watts per kilo is just an arbitrary number. It doesn't really mean anything, but it's obviously like good to hit. And then going into just, kind of winter recently, did my best 20 minute power um, in winter ever by quite a long way, 332 watts, I think. So almost the best I did, obviously I'm way heavier now, I'm at 64, six, I think I was probably 64 kilos when I did that test. So quite heavy compared to what I was previously, but nonetheless, that is the way, uh, that's kind of where we are at now. So you're gonna say, what are you gonna do this year that you didn't do last year uh, to get six watts per kilo? And I think, first of all, don't need a radical change. I got significantly stronger last year, for sure. Endurance-wise, I was doing some really good numbers. Like I did uh, 300 watts for an hour in the middle of a race, um, which I was really happy with. I did 320 normalized uh, for, I think, close to three hours, which again is like 5.3 watts per kilo. For, so for me, that's really big. Um, so my physiological numbers from racing was really good, um, which I was really happy about. Um, and also there was kind of some shorter duration intervals that I was doing that were really, really high as well. So all in all, a pretty successful uh, 2023 in terms of like power numbers, race results, top 10 to UCI, one to UCI, yeah, it was time trial, team time trial. I'm kind of like a little bit like I pulled like five minutes, but you know, technically one to UCI. Um, and then top 10 in Tora Martini, obviously like UK wise, I didn't do that well. I got one top 10 and two, three, four. Like it was not great. I'm not gonna lie, UK racing, I didn't do well. But I think the base period worked really well. Uh, I did some 34-hour weeks, a lot of zone two, and it worked. Went to the gym, did some intervals. So what are we gonna change? Uh, I'm not gonna do my big four-week zone two base. I don't think I need it. I think the only reason I did it is because I started training so early. This year, I'm just going straight into tempo stuff. I feel way stronger. Um, I'm doing three by 20 at close to 300 already, which is really good. Like, I know it doesn't sound like that quite far from 350, but I know from previous years that it's going well. 
going to continue with the gym. I think it did work last year. I think the gym block plus interval block that I did just before Albania was really, really successful. So I just need to make sure I actually am consistent the whole year um, and don't do the classic keen over winter and then it gets to racing and bin it off. So that's one thing I think I'm really going to focus on. Volume wise, keep it consistent. 25, 30 hour weeks should be no stress, I reckon. Um, the body's very comfortable about it. Uh, the only thing I might change is do some slight long rides. Did eight hours last weekend or yesterday actually and felt quite strong. Uh, afterward, I, I don't know, I mean, so close, but I, I do think there's probably something to it. So I probably will do a couple longer rides, but realistically for me, it's just like a lot of intensity, like three, four days a week, um, which I know some people think is not good, but I kind of think at least three days, three days is like very comfortable. And I do think you make good gains um, and just consistency of that, uh, as well as just making sure I do like pretty hard intervals um, throughout winter as well. Make sure I definitely do some threshold stuff. And I think it's not, there's no magic bullet. I don't think there's anything where I'm like, okay, this is really going to do it. The main I think I think actually that stops me doing six words per kilo is for sure diet because I'm not, I'm never like mega lean. At 60 kilos, I'm like, okay, you don't look fat, but you don't look like, wow, he should race the Tour de France, obviously. So I do think you're like, that's probably the area that's like the most easy to gain. But I also think it's like obviously the most risky because if you don't eat enough, you are just useless. So that's kind of where you just got to, Balance the line a little bit, make sure you're just, you know, not eating like an outrageous amount, but definitely eating enough because like in like a four hour ride, you're cracking out to 1,800 calories, you still got to eat a lot. So that's kind of the area where I think without the weight, I just can't do six. Like if I'm 61 kilos, 366 will just never happen. I just can't do it. I know I can't do it. 360 even, I just don't think it's possible. So like the weight aspect of this challenge is very big. Uh, and I think you've got to be aware of this, like, that if you want to do six words per kilo, half the equation is kilos. So, you know, I'm not going to get eating disorder, but it is something to think about. It's like, I will need to make sure that I'm just like, I'm in decent condition by January, like 61 kilos, 62 kilos. And then the rest will just come off. Hopefully by like April, May is when I predict that I should be in pretty decent nick. And then, yeah, training wise, it's just, it's just consistency, good volume, uh, intensity, just making sure you go to the gym. Uh, I think, you know, all of those things are kind of mainly good. Other thing I'm doing, some talk work, which is pretty popular with UAE and everyone else. Is that going to make a difference? I don't think it's going to make a groundbreaking difference because the newton meters you push on a bike, like let's say I was doing, I think the other day, like four by four, it's something like 75 newton meters. Just compared to that squat, it's just irrelevant. I do think it's probably something to it because everyone does do it and they kind of feel all right on the bike. So again, that's something that is new um, in terms of the intervals as well. And yeah, I think it's just making sure everything aligns uh, perfectly. And I think maybe the other thing is just the taper. Like I'm probably gonna do this effort like realistically before a big race, maybe Tour of Albania. I'm not sure exactly what my calendar is for, for next year, but let's say like before Tour of Albania, it's just like actually doing a bit more of a taper than I think I previously had done where I maybe I just had a week, maybe like a week and a half, really back off and then kind of add a bit more volume. Because I often think when I do my best numbers, I'm actually like, I wouldn't say tired, but I'd say verging on quite tired. Like my best numbers are normally um, when I am tired. I don't really understand it. No one understands it, but it's just the way it is. So yeah, those are kind of the main things of doing project six watts per kilo. Um, but yeah, I think, is it going to be impossible? Maybe. Uh, you know, I've been, I kind of say I've been close. I've not been that close. Um, will I round up? Yes. If I get to like 5.9 something, I mean, I just definitely I'm going to be rounding up because it, it will be close. Uh, will it change my like ability? Probably, I reckon, a decent amount. I think if you look at me as a rider, the thing I'm best at is fatigue resistance. Like my fresh to tired 20 minute doesn't get worse that much. Um, either day to day in a stage race or just during out in like a race. So that's kind of why I think if I can really crack the, the fresh numbers big um, and try and bump it up again, like if I can crack it 15 watts this year, which sounds bananas, but I think it's possible. Or like 15 watts from, from winter, I think it is possible. Um, and I think my last comment in this video is getting quite long, is really about like why I think it's possible this year. So last year I did a 20 minute test, literally like the same two weeks off, three weeks training, and I did 313 watts. And then obviously my best was 335. We probably could add five watts because I think I could have done 340 if there was some stuff, go, like if I was just fresh that day, let's say, so let's say 340, so we get 25 watts, well, I've already done 330, 
And so you're then like, okay, 350 probably is on the cards. Cause I do think I was going better just cause like, I had done a bit more intensity, like, a couple of things, but basically I do think that I'm actually in a lot better condition this winter compared to last winter. And so I'm just convinced that if I just do all the training I did last year, um, plus a bit more tempo, cause I kind of missed that block last time, uh, that I will be really, really strong by like April, May. And then hopefully the weight is 58, 59 kilos. And then six watts per kilo for 20 minutes. Boom. And then I can retire a happy man. Never ride a bike again. Job's good. Anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in the next one.